And um, you didn't mention policies that are coming into the future that you're wanting to run on. Can you talk a little bit about what your priorities are for well, the next we'll term? We'll put that together. Um, actually, when I go out on the road and we talk to Iowans, talk to businesses, schools, communities, uh, we ask them what's working, what's not working, and really through those conversations and those 99 county tours, that's where I start to kind of put the program together for the next year. Uh, what I do know for sure is I'm going to continue to put my trust and faith in Iowans. Uh, it has worked well over the last two years. Uh, as I said in my talk uh, to those that were here today, you know, they stand up, they do what they need to do, they take responsibility for their communities, for their neighbors, and most importantly for themselves. And that's why we were able to keep our businesses over, open safely and responsibly, keep our kids in the classroom, and really keep our economy moving. And, and because of that, we, instead of, you know, spending trillions and trillions of dollars driving inflation uh, up, we've been able to give Iowans back some of their hard-earned money. And so we're excited about that. It makes us more competitive, and, and we've done it in a manner that we can still honor priorities that are really important to Iowans, which is education and public safety. Do you have anything? Um, you talked a lot about what has happened in the last, say, week and a half for you. It's been a yeah. big week between the tax bill, yeah. the transgender sports bill, the State of the Union. So does it kind of feel like to you, you know, all your five years as governor, it's kind of, you know, <laughs> been working towards, you know, that week for, well, it was. for your priorities? I, I was surprised when I got the call to get the response to the State of the Union. It was a tremendous honor. And honestly, the first thing I thought when I, when I received that call was, Oh my goodness, this is a phenomenal opportunity for me to showcase Iowans, to tell their story, uh, not only to Iowa, but to the nation and the world. And so I looked at it from that perspective. We were selected because we have a good story to tell. We've done a lot of positive things over the last two years. They appreciated the way that we responded to COVID and to the derecho. Through a lot of diversity, we rose to the top and really took on the challenges, and, and our state has been a really good place because of that. Well, thanks, guys. Really appreciate it.